today's Albion video is all about a crazy gank idea. We're in the red zone, and yes, we're going to be attempting to gank. This set I'm wearing it may not look expensive, but it is a whopping 178k rounded up. And uh, so here's what we're going to do is we're going to use our skin. Hold on. There we go. A little bit of lag there. Our skin allows us to throw silver on the ground. And so what we're going to do is we're going to make a very enticing silver pile. And we're also going to go invisible. And just to be able to hear players, you know, coming up, we're going to increase our volume all the way. So this is going to be quite a loud video. All right, I'm going to just kind of lower the music all the way down and sound effects all the way up. There we go. So now we can hear people around us. Let's listen for a sec and just hear. Let's see what we can hear. There's nine gankers in the zone. I hear the animal. There's something walking around. So, you know what? Let's kill this boar. And yes, this is going to be loud. All right. Sorry for the loudness. It is required for what we're going to do. And so we're going to go ahead and flag up. And there's still another boar that's going to be making some noise, but that's okay. So, again, we're going to sit here on this road, and we're going to make a little gold pile, and we're going to go and viz when someone, we hear someone approaching. And they, they, they'll have to stop to pick up all the silver, right? So here we go. Let's start tossing down. And yes, this does make the build cost more or whatever. Go ahead and just make a real nice enticing pile. There we go. Look at all that money. Who, who can't help but stop for this, right? I think that's a pretty nice pile, but we need it to be bigger. And yes, they're probably going to get whatever they die with, they're going to get their money back. And I actually picked up some there. But look at that. That's a nice pile. So now we sit, and we listen, and we wait until someone approaches. And yes, I know that my mount is here, so I'm going to unsummon the mount, which is kind of risky. But uh, hey, you know, this is a big risk and a funny gank, and I think it'll be a funny thing. Let's eat our beef stew. All right, we're, we're prepared. We're ready to go. We just got to listen. Listen for approaching players. All right, three gankers in the zone. We're chilling. We uh, <laughs> we have an annoying wisp nearby. Again, the second I hear a mount noise, I'm pushing that R button, and we're going to charge up 10 stacks of ambush. We're going to then death curse them immediately, followed by the other curses. I should be able to purge their boots and chase them down, hit them with a poison potion. This should work amazingly well. I just have to hope someone rides by anytime soon. Someone's clearly... Like, come on, like, there's like a 5-1 area. Alright. We're listening, we're waiting. This is a waiting game. Alright, I guess I might have to skip ahead until someone rides by. Maybe. Let's just do that. Alright, look at the bottom right if you want to know how much time has elapsed. It did take quite a bit. I have to find, like, a really good road with lots of people that run by it for this to work. I didn't do that homework ahead of time, so I'm kind of le learning as I go, I guess. But here comes our first contestant. All right, so we managed to kill somebody, but it was a gank group, you know, three people. I did my best. <laughs> oh, man. And there they are. So, good time. So I could try faking to, I could, like, try fake leaving. Let's see if that works. So let's see if uh, he bought it. Oh, did he buy it? No, he didn't buy it. <laughs> Good stuff. Oh boy. All right, let's set up this time on an ice bridge. This is outside Craig Moore, right on the road here. And uh, again, we're just going to go and viz as soon as we hear a mount. And this time it's much more quiet, much more silent. No animals grunting and running around. Should be able to easily hear a mount. All right, eat our stew and let's get ready. This area was even worse to set up post at, but here comes a few people.
Damn it, they didn't take the bait. So a player does ride by. I don't have my stealth active, but he just dismounts. I guess he didn't understand the game mechanics or something. Well, we got a kill, but this guy just kind of AFK'd. It's a little weird. Is he gonna dismount and fight me? Let's see. Nope. Okay. All right. Well, now we're uh, <laughs> we're an outlaw. So I'm gonna go bank. This is 133k. So we're not technically up yet, but uh, it is pretty funny. It is a lot of fun. I'll tell you that. So I'll be back in a bit. <laughs> so here's a trick to unflag yourself. Now make sure you have everything stashed, and then uh, just uh, just type die. There we go. Back to Carleone. And so that just unflagged us. We don't have to wait the 15 minutes to reflag up. We can un now unflag, and I can go put my gear back on, go back out, reflag. And the reason I don't want to leave town flagged is because people will just follow follow you forever off screen and then kill you. All right, getting set back up once again. We're flagging up, and then we're gonna. This time I should hear a bubble if they approach from the north. So that'll be fun. So this segment is a reminder of what not to do, is when you kill someone, even if it's a naked, on just a horse, make sure that you leave the crime scene because people will come in and investigate and murder you and get revenge. But instead I st stuck around and I got killed for it. Alright, attempt number three or four now. So in this attempt, it was just a really bad setup, and I had two people hovering at the corners of my screen just waiting. And so usually when that happens is they're getting in Discord and they're trying to coordinate with their friends to come kill you. Alright, these guys are just hovering around me the whole time. They're just waiting on backup. So I'm just gonna leave. One of them is a scout, a naked freaking scout. The other one is uh, waiting on backup, most likely. I found a better spot, but nakeds kept messing stuff up. They just run in, and all they have is like a horse. And, you know, it's a good trade for them. They die, they get more silver than they lost. <laughs> Damn it, his horse broke. <laughs> well, that guy got a payout. <laughs> and now that I've learned my lesson, if you kill somebody, you literally have to leave because it lights up on the map that you killed somebody. <laughs> So I can't stay in that little choke anymore. I have to relocate. All right, some more attempts. We set up here. People were riding by up in the middle section. And so I'm like, okay, no one's coming. So I'm just going to go up top and then I'll attract someone here. Oh yeah, nice payout there. 297k. I think that actually breaks us even. So yeah, fun times. That guy got greedy. He's doing a hard transport. And his gear was worth a little something something. So uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's starting to pay off a little bit. <laughs> Alright, so let's look at the total loot so far. And uh, this this moose is, is not part of it. So uh, again, that was already in my stash. I didn't get a moose from a kill. I wish I did. So 461k, I died twice, my kits are worth 180 to 200k each, about, so I, I, you know, that and the drop silver, every time I throw a silver pile down, it costs me 5,000, and then if I pick it back up, I get 4,000, so, uh, sadly, the last guy I killed, he had the, this Gucci mount with, th that's worth, uh, you know, 200k, it trashed, so, bad trash luck on my part, but hey, it was a fun times I had all around, 
461k in loot in just a few kills. So does this pink method work? Yeah. It does take a while, though, because uh, you have to wait until people walk by to pick up the damn silver, and sometimes they don't take the bait. So yeah, that's the video, guys. Thank you so much. This was a fun one. It's, uh, I usually don't have the patience to sit around and wait for people to, like, you know, a attack people. It it's really hard to find targets as a solo player without, like, friends in Discord and scouts and people calling locations. But anyway, I just thought, you know, this was a stupid funny idea. I had been doing this for a little while in yellow zones. I'll, like, post up in a yellow zone with my 8-4 and throw a bunch of silver on the ground and stand right next to it. No invisibility. And a lot of people will dismount right on top of the silver, not realizing that I'm flagged up next to it. And then I'll just down them for three minutes. Fun times had by all, but hopefully you enjoyed this, and sorry to the people that I killed and took your loot, but hey man, greed kills. Well, hit the like button, <laughs> let me know what you think. Maybe share this around your friends' discords, I don't know man. And uh, click the video on the right side of your screen, and uh, if, you, if you don't click it, the next time you go to the grocery store for toilet paper, it will be completely out.